What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anthony and this is Watch With Me. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you the secret to how to get the most sought after pieces like the 5711, uh, the Rolex Daytonas, uh, the Pepsis, the Batmans, all the really hot item pieces and how to get them and not only how to get them but to get them at regular retail. So I'm not talking about going in the secondary market and paying the premium of 200% or 150%. Uh, before we get into the secret, uh, of course a wristwatch check. Today I am wearing my Rolex Daytona. This is a 16528. It is the Zenith movement. Uh, solid yellow gold. Uh, absolutely my favorite piece and this is an S serial number so it dates back to 1993 to 1994. Uh, enough of my watch. Uh, let's get into the good stuff. So there's good news and there's bad news. Uh, the good news is this is absolutely how the watch industry works and it can work for you. Uh, the bad news is it's going to take money and it's going to take time. So truth be told when you walk into a retailer and you don't have a relationship with them and you go up to them and say listen you know I really want a Patek Philippe 5711 or a Patek Philippe or uh, Nautil any Nautilus or any Aquanaut or any any hot piece right now and you say I want it and they say oh we don't have it uh, you know there's a, there's a very uh, long time period in between uh, us getting them and they go uh, or rather you say well can I give you my name I would love to be part of the list you know to be polite they'll say okay we'll take down your information and let me tell you right now there is no list and I know that's hard to believe but there is no list and those pieces are really reserved for their best clients and it doesn't mean uh, the the good part is it doesn't mean that you have to spend the most money it means it's the most loyal and trustworthy clients you have to understand that uh, Audemars Rolex and Patek are like businesses on their own these businesses account for millions and millions of dollars in revenue for each authorized dealer per year if they were to sell to a new client that they have no rapport with and they go and flip that watch and these brands find out they can lose their license to sell these products so that is one reason why these retailers are so strict on who's getting the product so essentially that's how uh, the business is run right now there really is no list it's based on uh, the discretion of the retail who's getting the product now here is uh, how you can actually acquire these pieces it's going to take money and it's going to take time you need to find one retailer uh, and work consistently with them it helps when you go in there um, you get to know the staff uh, you're very friendly and they get to know you they know that you're a watch person you're not going to go ahead and flip these watches and you need to start buying your watches through them uh, you, if, if uh, you're into jewelry or your family's into jewelry your wife or whatever you need to buy jewelry through that retailer you need to create a relationship and as I said in the beginning it doesn't necessarily mean you need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to acquire these pieces now if you did yes that will speed up the process in getting these pieces but if you show loyalty to the retailer you buy consistently and show character and that you're not gonna uh, you know uh, make money off the system I promise you you will get these sought after pieces um, and if you're if you're just starting out right now yes it will be a very long time till you're getting a ceramic Daytona or uh, the ceramic Pepsi or Batman or the Nautilus but guess what you know in another year or two years or five years there's going to be another hot piece that you're going to want if you start now and you stay loyal to one retailer i promise you that's how you're going to get the sought after pieces but keep in mind the moment you decide to sell one of these pieces quickly and make a dollar that's where you're going to lose the trust of your ad and i'm not saying that you can never sell these pieces but buying it and having it for one month and then uh, selling it or trading it at double the value that is an easy way to get blacklisted from a retailer yes you can buy from them again but you're not going to get the sought after pieces and another note right now is the perfect time to buy um, all these other brands because I know for a fact a lot of these retailers are not pushing uh, as much product let's say from like IWC or Breitling or Panerai or 
Breguet or Blanc Pond brands like that. So right now is a perfect time to go in. If you've been thinking about these pieces, you can go in and start your relationship with these brands by purchasing these other brands. Uh, that it's going to be a great way to to build a great relationship. You'll eventually be invited to events and be treated as a, a real watch uh, collector. So uh, that's going to be uh, kind of my uh, uh, insider secrets to how to get on the list and beat the list and get it at, at full retail price where I've been paying uh, a premium for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we're almost at 200 subscribers, so thank you very much for that. Uh, I, I still can't believe it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out and lets you know that you're enjoying the content. Uh, leave a comment down below. Maybe there's some other secrets, I don't know, on how to uh, get on the list. Let's try and keep it PG down below. But uh, until next time, guys, take it easy.